Hello, everybody. I hope you're all well. We are reading Lam Rim here, making life meaningful day by day. Let's get started. Day 88, quote, if we fail to remember death, we will not remember the dharma, end quote, Lama Sopa Rinpoche, text. Without an understanding of impermanence and death, we can work for neither our own true happiness nor that of others. Not only can we not begin to practice dharma, it's even very difficult to control our desire and anger. We spend our whole life doing meaningless things and never have the chance to create any merit. Problems pour down upon us. Life becomes complicated and expensive and we become overwhelmed by worldly problems, money problems, health problems, mental problems, relationship problems. Then, when death comes, we see how much we have wasted our life and what terrible suffering awaits us. Nothing we do becomes dharma, not even our Buddhist practices. Eating, sleeping, working and shopping are all done with a sense of permanence and hence only for our own self-cherishing mind. But so too are prostrating, meditating, saying mantras, reading dharma books and so forth. Nothing becomes dharma unless we have a sense of our own impermanence. Dharma is that which holds us from suffering and anything that does that lifts us from worldly concern. Can we become free of worldly concern without a sense of impermanence and death? To have the strength of mind that breaks the habitual clinging to sense objects needs much more than aspiration. We need to really feel from the depths of our heart that we could die at any time. We need a healthy fear of death then whatever we do will be beneficial because it will be preparing us for a better future life rather than trapping us in this one. The three big recalls of the day are, we cannot begin to practice dharma until we understand impermanence and death. Nothing we do with a sense of permanence is dharma, not even our Buddhist practices. Our healthy fear of death gives us the sense to break free from worldly concerns. Well, what profound teachings we got today. I hope we all get some time to think about it, contemplate and meditate on it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye from Chukor Sunlight.